This demo here is for the Semi Lab WT2000 PVN. So we're going to start over here on the right hand side. As you can see, this is the monitor. You have also right here is a part that goes on top of the table. It's a, a passivation plate. You have two PCs. You got a top PC that holds for Windows uh, XP and down below is a DOS computer. They have to run together. The DOS computer has everything to do that runs the uh, motor drivers for the system. Of course you got a keyboard, mouse. You have a over here is a vacuum pump. And you have the system itself. I'm going to open it up. Inside here, I have a wafer right now. But then you got your whole stage, your lasers, your detector. All right, it's all powered up, so I can't move anything around. I'm going to bring around to the back. In the back here, you have basically your interconnect cables. They're pretty much labeled auxiliary, that PCD, and this is the power, PC power, and they hook up all right into these three connectors. I'll definitely make sure that they're labeled a little better. And of course you have uh, a LAN connector, it's called Crosslink, that's interconnected between the two PCs. And Basically, the uh, keyboard and mouse is hooked up to a little uh, a link cyst splitter. Now, I did take a measurement earlier. As you can see, this wafer right here. I'm gonna unload this wafer just so you get an idea of if you can see this little haze mark right here is the haze mark it was just on the other screen but what I'm going to do anyway is I'm going to keep this hook on here I'm going to straighten this out See, I just made this table loose now so you can load it. So I have it right there. And what I'm going to do is I can go back into this screen up here. Going up into the measure box. Coming into it, it says load sample. So we're going to load the sample. Now it just brought this over. As you can see, this is loose right now. As you can see, I move it, and then I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to turn on the vacuum. You heard the click, and now I can't move the wafer. So now I'm going to close it up, and then I'm going to say, place the sample. Now, what it's doing right now. It's just doing a wafer find. You can kind of, kind of fade it out, but it's right there. Right now, checking the, the, the these uh, four spots on the table to find out where the wafer is. Okay, so it says I found a wafer. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make it measure it. We're just going to use this test. Let's say save it to there. It says it already exists. We're just going to write over it. Okay, so now it's moving everything and it's going to start measuring. 
and now it's going across and doing the measurements. And you remember those little, that mark I had on there, very distinct, and you'll see that it shows up. You can see that the wafer, now I untwisted it and made it straight. Now this spot right here, as you can see, it will be that mark. I'm going to pull the wafer out and show you. All right. So now I have to unload it. Right. Actually. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you another wafer here. See this one right here, and you're gonna see this. There's something on this wafer. It's got this line that goes all the way across, like a piece of tape is on there. You can see right where I put the the light is. There, there's a straight line and a couple of these little uh, looks like epoxy marks on it. So I'm gonna change the wafers over. So I'm gonna go and take measure. I'm gonna make it unload the sample. Okay, like, I don't know if you can see the spot on the, on the wafer, but I'm putting the light right where it was at. And you can see that this is matching up with this. And that spot on the wafer, there you go, you can see it right now, it's right there. In fact, it should look like that. Okay, now this one, as you're going to see this big line that goes right here. So I'm going to change it over, put it over here, just like that. I like the flat side down so I keep a good reference on it. I'm going back up here, move the sample, so it'll actually it's going to look like this. Because I didn't save, save it, it went back to the old, what's saved in the recipes. So now, you can see this one's actually, I have a little bit on the flat side is, is right here, not, a, not flat across like this one is. So, we will take a different picture of this one now. So, what I'm going to do now is go over to measure. I'm going to still give it test. And I'm going to overwrite it. Turn the vacuum on and start. So right now it's looking for the wafer. and now 
lights moving. As you can see, there's your flat right here. So it's redoing the whole thing. And there's your line starting to form right here that I said was on that wafer. And there's the end of it. I will turn the wafer, spin it around 180 degrees. See, it went back to the old one because we didn't save it. And I'm going to make it re measure again. Good sample. Turn the vacuum on. Okay. Again, right now it's looking for the wafer. Found the wafer. I oh, know it's looking for the wafer now. look down here it kind of says it right there wafer finder and then your progress bar so now I found it now I hit measure so I'm going to click on the measure there I'm just going to make it say the same thing progress bar right there saying so it's getting ready to move and as you can see now this time the flat is not there it should be up top
these are some of the measurements that it was doing. Your, sent, your settings all are here. Uh, there is a manual if you want to see the manual. I have it. I have one book here, and the rest of them I'll be putting right up on here. Um, but I'll have all three manuals that are that come with the system on the PC. The other thing too is if you want to change over between one computer to the other, you have to hit this shift scroll, and it puts you up to the other screen. This is what the DOS computer is showing right now. Just hit the scroll lock twice and it changes over. And that is the end of the test.